We've got another junk silver purchase for you guys today. My dealer called me up, had 108 Morgan and Peace dollars in varying conditions and another beautiful 10 Morgan dollars in higher grade. Let's go through these dollar coins and see if we can add any to the album or if we can find any Vams. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and that's right. I went to my silver dealer today and I asked him if he had any Morgan and Peace dollars and he said he had 10 high grade Morgans as well as 108 Peace and Morgan dollars in of course varying conditions from G4 all the way up to potentially AU but definitely around the XF range. Now he had a few more but he sold a couple so I'm thinking maybe this bag's been cherry picked and some better dates were taken out of it. Not quite sure but what he does is he puts all the Morgans and Peace dollars that are not in high grade in this bag and keeps a tally of them and of course people do pick from it here and there. Either way, worst case scenario, we've got 108 Morgans and Peace dollars to comb through for any Vams and better grades and maybe upgrades to the album. And of course, we'll get to the 10 BU Mint State ones at the end. Now, I don't know what dates these are, but they might be common because I got them at a good price, just like these. Now, I won't be dumping these out like I do in other videos because even though they're in a bag and they're not in high grade, we don't want to cause any more damage to them. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set them up between Morgan and Peace Dollars and give you a tally on that. And then we'll go through the Peace Dollars first and we'll do the Morgan second. After we do that, we'll do the last part of the video, which is to go through the nicer ones to see what we got in there as well. I'll be back after I have these 108 Morgan and Peace Dollars situated. Since I didn't dump them out technically in slow-mo, I just kind of emptied them out nicely. I figured I'd give you guys a quick look at what I'm looking at before I've done any of the sort. But yeah, like I said, different grades, different conditions, and uh, different years, hopefully, we'll have to see. Now, I'm hoping this lot is not chock full of 1921 Morgans and a whole bunch of 1922 Peace Dollars, but you never know. Let me start sorting them, and I'll be back. All right, we've got them sorted by Peace Dollars and Morgan Dollars, and of course, I have the BU one set to the side. For sake of making it interesting, all I did was grab handfuls of Morgans and Peace Dollars and put them in their respective stacks. I did not look at dates. Now, of course, through stacking them, I did see some dates, but it looks like we've got a pretty good mix of at least Morgan Dollars as far as some of the dates that I saw. Did see quite a few 21s, and I did see a lot of 22 Peace Dollars. But now that we got them stacked like this, I'm going to go ahead and separate the Peace Dollars first by year. We'll take a look at the years that we got, and then we'll check for any Vams, assuming we can even find Vams, because some of these are pretty toasty. But either way, happy to grab some extra dollar coins at the price I got them for. Let me start stacking the Peace Dollars by year, and we'll see what kind of mix we got. So for the Peace Dollars, we've got a pretty good mix of 22 Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. For the 23 year, we got one Philly, a couple of Denvers, and a San Francisco. We also have 125P, 126S, a 34D, and a 35S. These are better dates, so I'm glad to have those, and this is a better coin as well. Let me go ahead and go through these now and see if any are relatively nice and or have any VAMs. And if I do find a VAM along the way, of course, I'll bring you in, show you what I'm looking at, so that way you guys can see what kind of VAM it is and why I determined it was as such. I'll be back once we've gone through the Peace Dollars. So after scouring through all the Peace Dollars and trying to see if I could find any VAMs based on their condition and wear, I did not find any VAMs. I will tell you, there are some nicer Peace Dollars in here that you guys can see with some good toning. But really the only one that caught my eye is going to be this beautiful 1922S. Look at the toning on it. And it is definitely in a mint state grade. Somewhere between 61 and 64 in my opinion. And even if it's a mint state 60, it is a $90 coin. And if it's a mint state 64, it's a $225 coin that I got at cool prices. So I'll take it regardless. I love the toning. I love the detail. Not a lot of scratches or, or chatter on it. And at the end of the day, it's in pretty good shape. There is some oddities right there as far as toning on the left of the eagle's wing sticking out near the rays. But at the end of the day, it's got a good strike, good toning, good luster, good finish, good detail, and I'm happy with it. Not a grader, I don't think, although I'll look at it a little bit longer and see if it is, but that's a good score. 
Outside of that one, nothing too fancy as far as the peace dollars. So I'm gonna get these rolled up, keep that one in its flip, and now we're gonna move on to the Morgan dollars. And the first thing I'm gonna do is segregate them by year and see what we got. All right, we've got the Morgans laid out. I will say that I have one Morgan here that I cannot identify a date at first glance. I think I see a certain number, but you never know. And I can't make out whether there's a mint mark because of the wear. It's absolutely trashed. I'll spend more time on it later on on my own, but we're not gonna spend much time on it right now. We do have some 1878s, 79s, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, no 86s of course, 87, 88, and 89s. Down here we have a handful of 90s, 91, 92, no 93s of course. We do have a 94 though, and that's a better date. I'll have to see if there's a mint mark. 96, no 95s. 99, 1900, 1901, 1902, and a stack of 1921s, which I will go through these to see if we have some nicer ones like this one on top that I put there strategically and to see if there's any better ones underneath. But 21s, they've got to be in high grade anyway to even fetch some extra money. Otherwise, they're just nice 1921 Morgan dollars. Now that we've got them all laid out, I'm going to start going through these and see if we have any better mints as well as if we have any Vams. This is going to take me some time, but I'll bring you in along the way if I find a Vam or a better date, or a better mint. So we've gone through the Morgan dollars. These are the Morgan dollars that I consider in AU or better condition. It's kind of nice to see that many. These are the ones I consider lower grade, quite a few of those. In the 1921 year, we had three dandies, believe it or not, and then those are in decent shape or worse. That's the 21s, that's the pre-21s. In that set of searches i had a absolutely beautiful 1882 right here that we got for coal prices and that's an 1882s that is in beautiful shape almost proof like this one i just kept because of the toning it's just the 1900 philadelphia but i like the toning didn't want to lose it up in the mix of all the other ones we're going to pull it aside it's not in high grade i just like the way it looks we actually had three better dates. An 1879-0, oh, I believe. Yeah, 1879-0, oh, better date. An 1889-S, harder to find date. And an 1894, really slick, but minted in New Orleans, and these are hard to come by as well. It's in terrible shape, so really no extra value, even though it's harder to come by, but someone might need it for their set, so I figured I'd pull it aside. We only found one van that I could decipher from all of that scrutinizing of dates and mints and years and craziness, and it's funny because we found another Van 8, 1900O, O over CC, and you can barely make it out without the scope, but you can see the tails of the last C on the right of the O, and uh, yeah, we'll take it. I confirmed that it's VAM8, not any one of the other O over CCs. And the irony is that I pulled it out and I remembered recently, I also found a 1900 O over CC that I deemed an F12 shape. And same with that one. Funny that we found only one VAM in the last two hunts and they're the exact same one. And it's a harder one to find, but never in good shape. Now that we've done all those, Time for me to get out the BU or nicer ones after I roll these up. So here's a look at the higher grade Morgans and I will show these a little more up close, but for now I wanted to give you a bird's eye view. Most importantly, take a look at the toning on this one. It is an absolute stunner. The camera does it no justice, it's full rainbow. And it is an absolute beauty. 1881S. Wow. Toning alone in this condition will probably bring its value up. But I'm going to inspect it for any vans. Like I'm going to do all these. And after I run through them, I'll let you know if anything is spectacular. Other than already that one. 
Well, we've gone through all the BU Morgans and I did find one VAM and it's kind of sad and I'll show you why. We did find the VAM 36A on this 1883O Morgan dollar. It's in fantastic shape, but somebody decided to put some scratches right on the obverse under the chin and across the face. And I've scoped it, I've looked at it, you can't see it at all angles, which is why it had me fooled, but it is definitely consistent with somebody scratching it. And I don't know what the reason for scratching it would have been. Maybe they thought they could remove some of the deeper scratches, but it is definitely scratched. So this coin going from a higher mint state with the VAM 36A PCGS recognized VAM I could have submitted for is really no use because it would get the designation, but it probably wouldn't get a grade because of those scratches. And I have seen scratches like this when they're a proof-like strike, but not the way that this one is set up. So this was a heartbreaker. It is a nice Morgan. It is a VAM 36A, which is a more valuable one, but that's going to hurt. So we're not gonna submit it. We're just gonna keep it in the collection, unfortunately. I will point out though, I had a lot of fun going through the BU ones. I did upgrade a couple of these. So the ones that are in these flips may not have been the ones that were originally on the table. I switched out the ones in my album because they did upgrade. Just two minor upgrades, nothing worth showing. But at the end of the day, we had a lot of beautiful BU Morgans here. A lot of these I will definitely put up on my auctions when I do that. And some of these I will keep in my collection and or possibly submit. I may submit this 1922S high grade toned piece dollar. They are worth a lot more in high grade. I'll probably submit this toner. I think it's an MS65 plus, could be an MS66 plus. You never know. Of course, might even get a 63. You just never know. But I like those and this purple tinted one, this 1882S is a stunner as well. Finally, I will make note that I want to thank Chris K or Chris Fines Coins. He did send me for my effort on the stream the other night. Five beautiful BU Morgans to keep for myself. None of them upgraded. Pretty much all common dates, but nonetheless BU beauties. And I did inspect them for Vams and didn't have any as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this Peace Dollar and Morgan Dollar Junk Silver Purchase and Vam Hunt. I know we didn't get a lot of Vams, but we tried. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.